Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another episode of The Young Farmer. My name, as always, is Andy, and you join me in the cab of the Action 830 here. We are out with the spreader, and we've got a fair pile of muck to get through. We're not, I don't think we're going to get through it all today. It's from the, uh, when we, well, the, the remains of what was, um, everything that's pulled over during that JCB day that we were at just the other week. And um, that really went very well, apparently. So there's a lot of muck to shift. Uh, it's all in the field just over the road. We've already done that field. And we're cracking on through this one. Now we've got the GPS set up there. We're just cruising along nicely. Look at the view over the cliffs there, though. Just beautiful. Really, really stunning. Uh, it's another lovely spring day. It's very cold, though. It's about minus one, zero degrees at the moment, which means that uh, as much as I've got some drilling to do and some contracts coming in, we can't get going with it. It's just too cold right now, so uh, ground temperature is uh, way too low. So we're going to have to hang fire on that front and just wait. So whilst that is the case, we're getting onto the ground while it's hard anyway. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of drilling taken care of, a little bit of muck spreading taken care of. So that's good. Uh, just knock the spreader off there. And we come. Like I say, we do have quite a bit to do. Uh, we'll get it all done today, though, I should imagine. And uh, it shouldn't take us too long. But the good news about today, the surprise for today, is that we've actually got a new... Uh, we have ourselves a, a new telehandler on demonstration. Now, this is one that I never thought about before, but uh, the dealership got in touch and offered it to us. And it is an next demo that they're trying to shift and they want to get a... Um, want to get some more experience on it there, so yeah, we took a we took a, a jump at it, and it's it's very very good actually. I'm surprised at how good it is. I'm really thoroughly enjoying using it. So we're uh, we're going to get a few more hours on that this morning. Uh, we'll bring you along for a ride as we do, so you can see what that looks like there. But yeah, I think it's a great looking machine. It's got some great potential, and it's got some good power to it as well. Really, we've really got it with the uh, with the big bucket on for muck shifting today, but it's it's doing everything we can ask of it there. There's always quite a physically tough job from telehandler anyway uh, but yeah got some good grunt to it so we'll see how that goes uh, and then see what else we can um, see if we can keep it for a little bit longer to get uh, to task it or something they we might have to go and drop it off at the end of today but we might see if we can get it back when we've got some more some more work to do uh, at some stage but for now yeah it's, it's a it's a good little bit of kit very happy with it indeed this ground that we're on now this was um, winter wheat last year Apparently, and what we're going to be doing here is once we get this all in the ground um, or all spread, sorry, we are going to be looking as the GPS kicks back in. We are going to be looking to get this plowed over. We're going to be putting some spring barley in here as soon as it'll allow us to. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's just a little bit too cold there right now. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see, really. Uh, but yeah, not a bad job. There are definitely worse jobs to be doing on a day like today. Uh, shouldn't be long until this is about empty, and then we'll go and. Uh, Head back over to the heap. It's just, like I say, just over the road there, and we'll uh, we'll go again. But it's uh, yeah, so far so good for today. Really can't complain at all. Um, very nice and easy, just steady away for the action. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a nice day to be out. Well, that looks like we are done. Oh, we'll just fold that down. Yeah, disengage the GPS, and then off we go. The old muck spreader is doing fine there. Uh, it's really... I uh, had to change a, a few bearings on it. Up. Nothing too severe though. Uh, over the winter and it's looking good. Doing very well. Let's take a time out of here. Trying to go nice and slow. The good news is it is nice and hard underneath. So it's... Uh, we're not in any danger with causing too much of a mess right now. Uh, and we go. You can see the area in this here as well that pulled down that low load which had the telehandler on. Like I said, it's not our telehandler, so it came with that. Uh, and here it is. This is a mass uh, case. Actually, I'm sure it's quite similar to the uh, the new Hollands as well because they are always a very similar machine. But yeah, this is excellent. We're gonna have a bit of a, a better look at it in just a minute once I get myself back to where I want to be. Do it. Okay. Yeah, it's crisp jumping from machine to machine, let me tell you. 
And hopefully it's going to warm up a bit in the next week or so, so we can actually get some groundwork going. But yeah, so this is it, actually. Before we have too much of a look at it, this is... Uh, I can't remember my numbers. It's a 935 case. It's got some great power in it. Fantastic visibility as well. As you can see, it, it, although it is a, a demonstration machine, it's immaculate. It really, really is. Uh, inside, it's pretty much as you'd expect, though. Uh, really nice uh, controls and mechanisms. The one thing I would say, it's, it's quite light. The, uh, the weight distribution isn't uh, great when you if you've got anything up high uh, which obviously if you do anything like muck you got a lot of weight over the front end it's got a little bit rear end light uh, but that's only in the extreme circumstances really i haven't found too many uh, moments so far where i've been struggling or even concerned about the the weight but no it's, it's got some great power in it really do like the power it's got behind in this engine here i think it's a fiat powertrain engine that could be wrong uh, but yeah it's it's a very nice engine inside of it here Nice, clear visibility across uh, the cab as well. There we go, let's check them all out. Wonderful. Yeah, but yeah, it's got some good... It's got a lot more power to it than my Merlot has, that's for sure. And you can definitely feel it when you're in the... Uh, driving into a muck heap there, the middle just kind of dies and you got to take what you can, but this is, uh, this is doing well. Yeah, we've got a big bucket on the front, this is huge as well. We typically have wanted to get a, 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 a grab as well, but then you have the bucket going and, I mean, and nine times out of ten I'll use just a bucket only when it comes to loading muck anyway, just to kind of make it a bit of a a better, uh, tidier job of it. Using the grab tends to make a bit of a mess on the front end. Ooh, you see like that, if you get stuck in any ruts as well, it does get a little bit too much. Perfect. Just about two, I think. Make a little bit more in here. Uh, no, you don't want to take it away like that. So yeah, there you go. You can see it's a very nice looking bit of equipment, and we'll uh, we're hoping to get, a, like I say, hoping to get a good old push with it over the next few weeks. So there's another, another little airplane coming to land. Look at that. That's a busy little chartered airfield. That one. Quite know exactly what they're doing in there all the time, but it's uh, yeah, there's a lot of flights coming in now. All right, enough. We go do all the same thing again. But you can see there's still quite a heap of muck here as well from when we uh, when we came in. So I don't know how long that's going to be a few fields worth. I think because uh, like I said, I've already done that field behind us has been done and dusted. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with the rest of it. We are putting this down quite heavily, um, as per request there, it's really kind of slapping it on. Um, which will be good, because this ground is going to need a little bit of a, a refresh, really, so... Uh, nothing better than that than a load of muck on it. Uh, we'll go halfway up here, and we'll have to shut off and turn ourselves around, but that's fine. Now, in other news that is of importance, really, we have been able to secure that contract that we went to have a look at the other day. Which is great. Uh, we're going to be carting. Um, we're going to be carting straw pellets from the the location in the, the warehouse there. They're going to be going to various different distribution points. So that's going to be something we're going to be looking into doing over. I think it's going to start probably next week. Uh, now we're going to start just as we are with the Ariane, I think, and the the Brown trailer. Uh, but we're going to see how that goes because it might need that we we have some scope to, uh, to diversify a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet, but we, I know over the summer months it's going to mean hauling a lot of straw in as well as taking straw out. 
Um, so we're going to have to think about what that looks like from a business operation there and see. Because whilst it would be great just to um, continue and not, we'll have to have a look into it. Because it might mean that we have to either look into a small truck or we have to look into a, a faster vehicle. Um, I keep thinking about a fast track. I think it would just be the perfect usage for it really. But it's a big expense for just hauling. So I'll have to uh, watch this space for that one. But it does mean there's a little bit of diversification. There's a steady flow of jobs coming, uh, contract revenue coming in through the winter months. Which is perfect. That's what we have to strive to try and get here. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. And, and what other opportunity it brings. That any, uh, any contract work that I do over harvest there. We will think about... Um, Think about what that could, what implications that could bring for a straw work as well, so that'll be good. But yeah, I'll have to really watch this space. Uh, we are looking into the possibility right now of seeing if we need to acquire a combine somehow, be it through a lease. But I haven't kind of. I'm still trying to gauge the temperature on some of the the work that I've been doing to see if they want me to take it stubble through stubble. So yeah, I'll have to see on that front. we go again happy days but this field's not going to take us too long to do i don't think we'll probably have another two or three loads in here uh and then we'll be we'll be on to the next one so that should be good and then, yeah we'll probably head back up you can not quite see the yard up there uh, it's just kind of hidden a little bit uh, but yeah we are up on the hill over there you can see the castle and just to the right of the castle and up the hill where that's where you'll find us yeah, we'll be heading back up there. We're going to keep the telehandler for a day. See if we can find any other work for it. And then we'll have to come back. But if we can't, we can't. Before we get too tight, we don't want to go blowing out any CV joints on the PTO. Happy days, then we're going to keep on rumbling through. We should be able to get this all done relatively quickly, uh, like I was saying. Uh, elsewhere, though, everything else is ticking along very nicely indeed. We're just waiting for that ground to warm up a little bit more so we can get some more um, spring crops in the ground. Um, and then, yeah, back on the fertilizing train all the way through to grass, really, uh, which hopefully shouldn't be too, too far away, but you never know. This British weather we're experiencing at the moment can do wonders uh, to the game. Uh, to the this British weather we're experiencing at the moment can do wonders to the uh, to the growth, but it also can stunt things quite dramatically. So we're just going to kind of sit on it and wait and see what it does. Okay. So how you all been anyway? I hope everything is well. Whatever you're getting up to, do let me know down below what you're working on, what you're driving in, as always. Very intrigued to know about that. And that is us done, I do believe. Put the gate back down. And off we go. So what I think we'll do is we'll just get this one all uh, buttoned out quite quickly. We might even... I do have the drone inside the cab of the Aryan. Might even send that one up and just see how we get on here, I think. Uh, we'll get this all loaded up. We'll see what the case looks like from the air. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get stuck into a little bit more of the muck.
What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Not a bad looking uh, piece of equipment here, I'm sure you will agree. Uh, we're going to try and have a bit more of a, uh, an assessment of it in some of the tasks like I've been mentioning there, but I do wonder that there's a little bit of a jump in the hydraulics at times. I wonder if we can get that dialed down. Maybe it's because I'm not used to it and how it's functioning in comparison to uh, to the Merlo, for example, or even the JCBs of the day, but it does seem like there's a lot of pressure in there, so it's quite, uh, quite jumpy. That being said, though, it is a nice, very nice little piece of equipment. Very, very impressed with this, so uh, we'll have to see uh, what else we can get it put through. Uh, but other than that, we are looking good. Uh, we're going to jump back into the action to get this all done. There's another plane, haven't? Uh, and we'll see. So yeah, we'll get this all done and uh, get us back to the end. Get us all cleaned off, actually. This actually needs a bit of a wash down, uh, and we'll see how we get on there. But that's going to be it for us now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, Simulation for the Nation, and we will see you all in the next one. So until then, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.